Hey, this is Philip from Missive, and today I'm going to showcase the Zapier integration. Right, so Zapier is a platform that lets you connect many thousands of applications together without adding any coding uh, knowledge. Right, so that's really, really awesome. There's infinite, infinite amount of possibilities. For instance, you could uh, connect your uh, sync your uh, CRM contacts to Missive or you could send any new emails received in Missive to your CRM or whatnot, all right? So to showcase uh, this and kind of help you understand how you can set yourself up and get started, I'm gonna show you a really small and easy project, all right? So let's say that in Missive, anytime I write a comment that start with GIF, I want to actually search for a GIF using those keywords. I love you in that case, all right? So to do so, first thing you need to create your Zapier account. Let's say you've created it. So that's the dashboard. The next step is to create a Zap. So a Zap in Zapier is a small contained project where you have triggers, one trigger, and you have actions that you can do in different applications. In our case, we want the new comment trigger from Missive. All right, so let's look for this trigger. So missive. Here you're gonna use this one. All right, so that's the real missive application. In my case, I'm using a development one because I'm 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 using my uh, development version of missive. But in your case, you're gonna pick this one, and you're probably gonna see only this one anyway. So let me use this one. Okay, so this is uh, the missive trigger, and I will need to pick which kind of trigger I want. In this case, I want new comment. And then I click continue. And then I need to tell Zapier um, how to connect to my uh, Missive account. So we're going to do so using uh, the My Missive API key. All right. So here you see allow Zapier to access your Missive account. Get it from your Missive preference. Click the API tab, then create a new token link. OK, go here, click preference, click API and create a new token. Let's name it Zapier. Click OK. Copy it with my keyboard. Right, and go back to Zapier. Paste it. OK. Now I need to configure this trigger because I don't want it to work work and run on all of my comments, it would be a waste. And when you use, use Zapier, uh, you actually pay per actions that are uh, matching. So you really want to filter things out so it's not expensive. In my case, I want to filter only to uh, uh, comments happening in, in my business conversations, conference badge. And with comments that starts with ash gif space. All right. And then click continue. And then I test the trigger. So here, Zapier is just going to get a random comment from my missive, probably the last one I created. Hopefully. So let's see. All right. So if I look at the data that was returned, if I look for. Uh, body comment body gif I love you exactly this one perfect so I click continue and then I need to actually take this data that I just received and transform it I don't want to search for a gif name um, ash gif I love you I just want to look for a gif uh, with the keyword I love you. So I want to modify that string I just received from my trigger. So I'm going to click formatter by Zapier. Use the text one. And then to achieve what I want, I'm going to use the replace function, right? So I'm going to replace. Uh, da -da -da. I'm going to replace, sorry, this is here, slash, 
So I'm going to work on the comment body. I want to find the part of the string that matches this ash gif. And here to find a space, use, so I'm going to use this here. So ash gif plus space. And I want to replace it with nothing, right? So leave blank to delete the found text. That's what I want. So in the end, I'm only going to uh, get I love you or anything I would have written after gif. Continue. Oh, you see, output, I love you. That's exactly what I want. Now I need to add the uh, third, uh, the second action, which will be a search on a service called Giphy. It's a library of millions of GIF. So I want to find a GIF. So what is my search keyword? It's the modified string I just created in my second action. Here you have the example. All right. Then here I can define a rating. I just want general things that my kids can see. So here I say false because I do not want to continue the process if no gifts are found, found right? I just want to stop. So that's perfect. I click continue. And then it's just a confirmation and test and continue. Let's see what GIF it, it finds. So if I copy paste this, so that's the result of the search. Amazing result, awesome. Okay, so now that we have a GIF, the last step is to post it back into our missive conversation. So let's add a last step, find the related missive action, create the post. So uh, create a post actually is a way to uh, insert structured data in a missive conversation. In our case, it's it's really simple. It's simply the GIF URL, which will be automatically expanded and shown in the conversation. So I need to pick my account. Now, those are all steps you could fill out for a post. In our case, uh, we will fill out those two, which are required, the notification content. Here we can say GIF. Here we can simply use the search keywords. And then we can define the image URL, which will be the result of our last action. Find GIF in Giphy, use the GIF URL. All right, and now lastly, uh, we need to tell Missive to insert this in an existing conversation, the one in which we post the comment. We do not want to create a new conversation. So here I would uh, go in the first action data, the trigger, sorry, in the trigger and look for an ID. Let's say conversation ID. Here we go. No, sorry, conversation, this one. Amazing. Okay, so I think we have everything we need. Perfect. Now we need to test this out. Worked. And if we go look in the missive, it indeed worked. Amazing. Now we just need to turn the zap on so that uh, Zapier is always listening to our comments that start with ash gif so just as a demonstration ash gif awesome and it's doing its things on the uh, zapier servers like takes a few seconds and then wow awesome amazing okay so this was a simple zap i mean you could create uh, ones that are far more complex. 
uh, you can do a lot of things. You can integrate with Missive with a lot of different products. You can, your imagination is the only limit here. And I really hope you can find ways to automate your workflow that makes your team more productive.